Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Um, as you can tell by the title, um, it is my round two predictions for the World Grand Prix of Darts. Um, but before I get into that, I'm just going to tell you about a couple of shots that happened in round one which I was expecting. So one mini camp, yet again tell us what I patch during this uh, video. But I try my best. Um, beat Joe Cut at 2 1. Bit unexpected from where I'm standing. Um, obviously, joint, uh, Joe Cullet is a well known name in the PEC, whereas one he might have played in the European circuit, but I'm not 100% sure. But uh, anyway, he did have a good game. Joe Cullet didn't turn up, so fair play to you. And for this round two game, I'll get up to in a minute when I do all the round two and the round two predictions. The second bit of news is Will Cross is out. He lost to Steve Beaton 2 0. Um, bit surprising. Uh, obviously, I know Steve, Steve's a good player, and I also know Will Cross is a good player. Um, but it does prove shocks that's happening in the game of darts and anything is possible in the game of darts uh, especially if you don't turn up and especially because it's covered in double L. Uh, the next bit is Simon Whitlock's out after losing to James Wilson T1. Uh, now it may not be the biggest shot but James Wilson just starts to get into the PDC. He's been in it about four years now, he's just started to pick up on the race. Um, by the time of Whitlock, well known name, um, you know, he's let the perform go just a little bit. Uh, the last bit is Adrian Lewis beating Marcus Smith 2-1. Um, um, now Adrian Lewis uh, has struggled over the last 18 of months, just broke into the top 16. Uh, 16th uh, in the rankings at the minute. Um, you know, beating Buddy Boy. Uh, Mark, so the odds were against Adrian. Uh, so fair play to you. Hopefully, see you back in the Premier League very soon. But where, in my opinion, you're, you belong. I know a few of you will disagree with that. But I think he's a good player. I think he deserves to be up there. Uh, on to my round two uh, matches and predictions, how I think this is going to play out. So the first game is Dave Chisnell against Raymond Van Marlebaugh. Um, now Raymond, he, t he does turn up. The trouble is with Raymond is that if he falls behind he seems to give up. Um, obviously still being in a short format and obviously still being double in double out. Uh, you know, I think he's, you know, if he don't get off at the right start, I think Dave Chisholm will have this game. But for my prediction, I'm going to give it to RBB. I think he just might turn up on the night um, and do the job. Uh, the next uh, mixture of round two is Gary Anderson versus Jeffrey Despawn. Now, Jeffrey has had a brilliant competition so far. Now it's only the first round but I'm including the match play as well. Uh, very dark horse. I think he'll be the world champion in the next five to six years if he keeps on going the way he is. Um, as I've just said, plays Gary Anderson. Uh, bad back problems. Could this be the game that might see him out? I don't think so. I think Gary Anderson might just inch his one. Uh, ever so slightly. Uh, game 3, uh, Del Gurney against one Mina Camp. Um, as I said earlier, uh, yeah, he beat Joe Cullet. Um, but, you know, yet again, Del Gurney came to appear in these matches. Uh, when one Mina Camp, he, you know, he's proven if you disappear, I will have you. But, I think Dale Grant might have this game covered, obviously being the champion as well. 
So, sorry if you hear any banging during this video, it's the word being banging where I'm recording. Uh, hope it doesn't affect you too much. Hopefully, by the next one, it should all be done. Um, but as I just said, yeah, I think Dale Gurney was just into that game. So, I'll give the win to Dale Gurney. The next game is MVG versus Dan Webster. Now, Dan Webster, uh, you know, he's a very good player on his day. Can he make MVG disappear? Same as a lot of these players do do. Um, you know, it's going to take a bit of time, um, you know, to everyone to get going. Uh, I think whoever's quickest at the blocks will have this game. So whether MVG starts off great or the down Webster does, I reckon, you know, the first one will have the game. But for the purpose of my prediction, I'm giving it to I'll give it to uh, down website. I go against the odds in this one. Um, you know, as I said, I think the quickest out of the box wins it. Um, now on to Wednesday night. But as I just said, I'm gonna give you all of my predictions. Uh, Mentor Sulevich faces Ian White. Now Sulevich has came in to his own over the past couple of years. Ian Diamond White does, uh, you know, get in there, but he does have a tendency of yet again not turning up and that's where I think he just slightly loses it but um, for this one I'm gonna give it to I'm gonna actually stick my neck out on the line I'm gonna go V and Y um, I think some of us could have it but I just think it's gonna be one step too far being the double in double out the only advantage that some of us does have is the um, you know, like double 14, double 7 and all that group where a lot of players don't like it. Um, the next game is Steve Beaton versus Garwin Price. Um, now yet again, Steve Beaton, Beaton Adrian Lewis. Um, I reckon he will go through to the next round. I think this Garwin Price seems to be disappearing and then coming back into form. Uh, you know, it does make it difficult to see what girl is going to turn up. Especially as I've said in this video already, it's double in, double out. Um, the next game is Peter White versus um, Jermaine Wanyama. Very good John Dutch player. Uh, very good uh, Peter White at the next single form. Even though he keeps on his start. Um, so, with that one, I'm going to go with Jermaine Wanyama. Um, you know, so if you're not Dutch, I might be a bit confused there. Um, I'll be telling you four names, I forget where people are actually going from. Um, so yeah, for that one, I'm going to go with Jermaine Wanyama. Um, the last one, um, James Wilson. Beating uh, James Wilson versus Adrian Lewis, sorry. Um, now, James has done a main mark set there, and so did Adrian Lewis. But for this one, I'm going to give it an Adrian Lewis win. Uh, I, now, I'm not being really disrespectful to James Wilson, I never disrespect uh, a lot uh, on how it's a tough job. Um, but I just think Adrian Lewis is going to edge this one. Um, especially if he can pick out just like. But anyway, guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao now.